I don't have a specific message for any member in particular, um, Republicans and Democrats. The commission is happening, and I just ask that everybody takes it serious. Um, and if there's nothing that they find in the commission, then that's it. I accept it. If there's, they do find something, then take care of it. I just ask everybody, Republicans and Democrats, to take it serious. The thing that I took away from the vote the most is, yeah, I'm happy that it passed, but the manner in which it passed, it was extremely partisan. It was, and that just shows how divided our country is, and we got a lot of work to do and a long way to go as a, as a country, as a nation. So, well, I mean, I was shocked, but I wasn't surprised. 190 nay votes uh, was pretty damn disappointing. Uh, but again, I, I wasn't surprised. I um, mean, it seems at this point that, uh, you know, the Republican Party is, is gone all in, and uh, I don't think they really have, uh, an, you know, at this point, an avenue, uh, an avenue out. They're just embracing, you know, the idea that, um, well, I, they're just trying to make this uh, political. But what we're looking for is the uh, root cause of the January 6th insurrection. Um, you know, addressing those immediate concerns really is like putting a Band-Aid on a gunshot wound. Uh, if we don't get to, you know, address and, and face the reality that it was a political insurrection which was incited by uh, former President Donald Trump, uh, then I, I don't think that we're going to be able to move forward as a nation. I just take it day by day. I don't have any, uh, you know, again, like... What I'm looking for is uh, accountability um, because I see that as a way to best honor the uh, men and women of the Metropolitan Police Department and U.S. Capitol Police that responded here on January 6th. Uh, I want to get justice for them, recognition for them. We continue until we get accountability, until we get, that's what we're looking for. And I guess until we get it, I guess we just keep going.